What does measure nothing mean? It's a lie. It's a lie of a title because there's no such thing as nothing. Okay, I'm Dina Genkina. I'm the computing and hardware editor for IEEE Spectrum and I'm gonna tell you how to measure nothing. There's huge physics experiments like CERN where they collide particles into each other and you really don't want extra stuff in there. In order to make a good vacuum, you need to be able to measure it. We're not very good at that right now. And there's scientists trying to figure out how to measure emptier levels of vacuum. Those levels of nothingness. You really want a precise measurement and that's where atoms, your enemy that you're trying to pull out of the vacuum can also become your friend and be your measurement tool. So you get a bunch of atoms, you cool them down super, super cold, shine laser light on them and they fluoresce. There's a fish that does this. I forget which fish it is. And as long as they're hanging in there and nothing is messing with them, they're gonna keep fluorescing the exact same amount. But that's never happened in the history of the universe because there's always stuff messing with you. So you could see how much stuff is messing with those atoms by seeing how quickly that light, that fluorescence decays. And these atoms are gonna form possibly the future of vacuum measurement.